So I simply navigate to where my report was delivered. Here I'm using Dropbox Cloud Storage, and you can see all of the reports available as PDF files. I just click on this one here, and you can see a beautifully formatted operational report that was just distributed from our new reporting service available in Click Application Automation. Now, how sexy is that? Hey guys, this is Mike Tarallo with Click, and today I'm here to introduce you to yet another fantastic innovation, our new Click Reporting Service. This initial release of the Click Reporting Service provides multi-channel, multi-page report output distribution and delivery of ClickSense insights to your organization. Not only has the Click Reporting Service been made available as a public API, so you can programmatically customize your report delivery experience, but it has also been integrated as a set of new Click Cloud Services connectors in Click Application Automation, allowing a no-code visual approach to including report and insight delivery into your automated business processes. Let me give you a brief demonstration of a simple scenario of report distribution using Click Application Automation so you can see how it works. Okay guys, I have some really, really exciting stuff to show you. The first part of this is just gonna be a quick, just show me how it works. So within Click Application Automation, we have new connector blocks. And you can see in addition to the Click Cloud Services connectors that connect you to your ClickSense SaaS tenant, we also have the Click Reporting category, which has a number of connector blocks that do a particular task. Now, as I mentioned, these tasks are also exposed as a public API. Now, I'm not gonna get into the public API, but just know that Click Application Automation Report Service Connectors exposes a number of the APIs for a visual no-code approach to building your workflows. So we have our start block, and you can always refer to our other Click Application Automation videos for more information on all of this stuff. But in this case, we are just gonna do a quick manual execution of this. You can schedule it, can be triggered, can be uh, also accessed through a webhook. So we have a create report connector block, and this connects to my ClickSense tenant and allows me to access the apps and I give it a name and we'll go through a build process of this in the second part. I'm going to select a sheet. In this case, we have add sheet to report. And then we have the generate report, which is responsible for creating this initial release, a PDF document. And then we are going to take that document and distribute it to a cloud storage location, in this case, Dropbox. That's it. So I'm just gonna click on run can go into the chronological tab to see the steps that are being executed. And then I'm just gonna quickly go to Dropbox and what you're gonna see is one of the reports pop up and there it is. You can see it's got a dynamic name and there's the date and time. I click on this PDF and we have that beautiful operational report. Okay, so that's the gist of this. So going back to click application automation, along with report service connectors, you can assemble a business process workflow using any of the available connector blocks, including those from Click Cloud Services to meet your needs when an event occurs in your business. We can create uh, bursted reports. I can send them to email. Okay, so that's just quickly showing you how it works. Now, part two, we're gonna go into actually building it and kind of putting all the pieces together.